Dear audience, welcome back. I hope that you are all are fine. Today I am going to discuss on some problems relating with the integration by the method of substitutions. Dear friend, the first problem is here integration x a to the power x squared dx. If you observe this given integral, you will find there are two parts. Between these two parts, one part is the differential of other part, or one part can be expressed as the differential of other part. Here, if we consider x square equal j, that means if we substitute x square by z, then we'll find we'll find that the differential of x square is 2x dx and the differential of z is dz. And from here we can write x dx equals half dz. That means x dx can be expressed as half dz. Now substituting these expressions in the given integral we find integration x e to the power x squared dx equals half e to the power j dz equals half e to the power j because we know that the integral of e to the power j is e to the power j and here we also put the plus c this c is the integral constant so again substituting z by x square we get half e to the power x square plus c so ultimately we get the integral of x e to the power x square is half e to the power x square plus c here the problem number two we'll get integration of 2x whole divided by 1 plus x square dx if we substitute 1 plus x square by z then the differential of 1 plus x square we can write 2x dx and the differential of z is dz now substituting 2x dx by dz we get integration 2x by 1 plus x squared dx equals integration dz by z but we know that integral of dz by z equals ln of z plus c where c is the integral constant now substituting the z by 1 plus x squared we get ln of 1 plus x square. Dear audience, it is remarkable that after the ln or logarithm, we shouldn't put the negative number. That means always we have to put the positive number or the positive expression. To make it meaningful or significanceful, I have used here the absolute value sign that means ln of absolute value of z that means ln of absolute value of 1 plus x square dear audience here the third problem is integrate integration sin x divided by 1 plus cos x dx if we substitute 1 plus cos x by z then from these we can get the minus sin x dx equals dz and then we can write sin x dx equals minus dz again we substituting sin x dx by minus dz we get integration sin x whole divided by 1 plus cos x dx equals minus integration dz by z here again we can write 
the integral of dz by z is ln of z and plus c is the integral constant re substituting the z by 1 plus cos x we get minus ln of absolute value of 1 plus cos x plus c your most your uh, important problem integration of e to the power x minus e to the power minus x whole divided by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dx if we consider e to the power x plus e to the power minus x equal z then finding the differential of the both side we get the e to the power x minus e to the power minus x dx equals dz because we know that the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x and derivative of e to the power minus x is minus e to the power x that is why we can write the e to the power x minus e to the power x dx equals dz we know that if we would like to find the differential of a given function then first of all we have to find out the derivative of that function into the differential of the variable of that function so in this function that means e to the power x plus e to the power minus x here the variable is x and the function is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x the derivative of e to the power x plus e to the power minus x is there e to the power x minus e to the power x and since it is a function of x so the differential of the variable x is dx and we write as a product now substituting these we get integration e to the power x minus e to the power minus x fully divided by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dx equals integration of 1 by z dz that means it can be written as integration dz by z that means ln of z plus c now substituting z by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x we get in the ln of absolute value of e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus c where c is the integral constant similarly this problem can be done that means if we consider sin x as a z and substituting these we get the integration of cos x square cos square x sin x dx equals minus integration of z square dz and integrating it we get minus one third z cube plus c and replacing z by uh, cos x we get minus one third cos cube x plus c where c is the integral constant similarly the problem number seven can be done dear audience here the problem number seven two integration of sine to the power five x dx this sine to the power five x dx can be written as sine to the power four x into sine x dx now we consider again the sine is sine to the power four x um, can be decomposed as uh, sine square x <laughs> Uh, sorry sorry for interrupting um, here sine to the power 4x can be written as uh, sine <coughs> square x um, whole square and in place of sine x dx I put sine x dx and sine x square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x and now we now we consider here cos x equal z and taking the differential to the both side of the given equation we get minus sine x dx equals d uh, z sorry it will be the dz but it is written here dx is the mistake so sine x dx equals minus dz now substituting those in the given integral we get integration 
of 1 minus z square whole square into minus dz now applying the formula that means a minus b whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square we get 1 minus 2z square plus z to the power 4 dz and I put the minus sign outside the integration sign now doing integration we get here uh, we get z 2 by 3 z cube plus 1 by 5 z to the power 5 but there is a uh, mistake here that means here we shouldn't put the integration sign but here is the integration sign so no need to put the integration sign in this line in next line I write here and that means substitute the z by cos x then we get minus cos x 2 by 3 cos cube x plus 1 by 5 cos 2 by 5 x plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience it is the problem number 8 the given integration is here 10 cube x sec square x dx we know that the derivative of 10x is a sec square that is why we consider here 10x equal z now doing differential to the both side of this given equation we get sec square x dx equals dz now substituting the sec square x dx by dz in the given integral we get integration 10 cube x sec square x dx equals integral of z cube dz and the integral of z cube is 1 by 4 z to the power 4 plus c where c is the integral constant because we know that the integral of x to the power n dx is x to the power n plus 1 whole divided by n plus 1 plus c here in place of n there is a 3 so it will be the 3 plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 1 that means z to the power 4 by 4 now replacing z by 10x we get 1 by 4 10 to the power 4 x c plus c where c is the integral constant Uh, important sum um, integration of dx whole divided by 1 plus x squared 10 inverse x dear audience we know that the derivative of 10 inverse x is the 1 divided by 1 plus x squared so we consider here 10 inverse x as z now doing differential to the both side we get 1 divided by 1 plus x squared dx equals dz now substituting dx by 1 plus x squared by dz we get integration dx whole divided by 1 plus x squared into 10 inverse x equals integration dz by z and we know that the integration of dx by x is the ln of x so we can write here ln of z plus c where c is the integral constant replacing z by 10 inverse x we get ln of 10 inverse x plus c similarly this problem can be done dear audience in this problem we will get integration into the power 10 inverse x all divided by 1 plus x squared dx if you observe it carefully then you will find that the integrate sorry derivative of 10 inverse x is the 1 divided by 1 plus x square is given here that is why substituting 10 inverse x by z you can solve this problem here it is also the important sum integration dx whole divided by 1 plus x square into 1 plus 10 inverse x if we consider 1 plus 10 inverse x as z and doing the differential to the both side we can get 
1 divided by 1 plus x squared and replacing it in the given integral we find integration of dz by z and it can be written as log of z plus c where c is the integral constant and replacing z by 1 plus 10 inverse x we get log of absolute value of 1 plus 10 inverse x plus c similarly this problem also can be done that means uh, we should consider 10 inverse x cube as a z and after that substituting the differential by the opt-in differential we can solve this problem and ultimately we get the integration of x square 10 inverse x cube all divided by 1 plus x to the power 60 x equals 1 by 6 10 inverse x cube whole square plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience i hope that you could understand the today's lesson and it will be you will be the benefited by this and i hope that very soon i will come back along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye